Hi everybody, it's Karen and we're going to learn how to make worry dolls today. Some of you might have little kits that went home with you, but you don't need a kit to make a worry doll because all of the materials are easy things for you to find. But if you have a kit, I want you to open it up and dump everything out and then sort it. So if you have popsicle sticks or craft sticks, put them together. You might have a whole bunch of different color yarn, make a pile for that. There's some pieces of material, and there are some little pipe cleaners. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a marker. Now there's not a marker in your kit. There's not a scissors in your kit, or a pencil, or a glue stick, but I know these are things you can find at home. So you're going to take your marker, and the first thing you're going to do is make hair and a face on your doll. So if you want to, you can make short hair just by coloring it in like that at the top. Or if you want to, you can make the hair a little bit longer. This is your worry doll, so you can make it however you like. And then just two little eyes, and I always put a little smile on my worry doll because she helps me with my worries. And that's all you need your marker for. Now I'm going to take my glue stick, and I have to tell you that we get sticky fingers when we do this. Sometimes we have to put the glue on more than once because the wood likes to suck the glue up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the glue, we're going to put it all over the front of the stick and all over the back of the stick, but we are not going to cover the face of our doll with glue. And then you can pick out one of the colors of yarn. Maybe you have a favorite. And we're going to start right here under the face, and we are going to take our yarn and we are going to wrap it. Now, sometimes we wrap it like this, but then we have to push it up so it's close together. So if you can, or if you need somebody to help you, try to put it as close together as you can and then move it up so there are no spaces in between. And then you're going to pick another color. Mm, I'm going to pick red this time. I started with orange. And again, I'm going to take my yarn and just wrap it around and wrap it as close as I can. And if it's not really close and there are spaces in between, I'm just going to move it up. And then I'm going to take one more. You might not see this last one when we're finished, but I like to cover it pretty much with the yarn. So we're going to wrap the third piece around, and this is enough. Three pieces of yarn wrapped around. You could leave your worry doll just like this. It would be just fine, but we have some other materials. So I'm going to choose one of the pieces of material. I think I'll pick this one. It has lots of colors. And I'm going to wrap it really tight. We wrapped the glue. Now we're going to wrap the piece of material. And because we have some additional things in here, I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap it like a big belt. And there you have it. That's the worry doll. A lot of people made the worry dolls, and you can see that they're all different. No worry dolls look the same. So whatever your worry doll looks like is what it's supposed to look like. So again, you have everything in your kit. You have material, you have pipe cleaners, you have your craft sticks, and you have yarn. And you can use them however you want to make your worry doll. And this is what my worry doll looks like today. I hope you have fun.